What's going on guys? This is JT here and welcome back to Badland Brawl. In this video we are going to be talking about the newest mythical card, Cluster Bomb. I can't wait to show you guys how it works. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you can see my Cluster Bomb is currently level 9 which is the max level that mythical clones can be at and here are all the stats as well. So we got an advanced bomb that releases mini bombs upon exploding. That's right. We put bombs inside of bombs. Now, to be exact, it comes with three mini bombs, which is pretty huge. And if you send the cluster bomb straight to the other tower, it will send out a big old bad whopping 2,155 tower damage, which is an insane amount, especially at one time for only the cost of four, right? So if timed properly, this thing can do some serious damage. All right, so as far as the area damage and stomp damage goes, the stomp damage is pretty nice as well. I mean, 539, that's basically, I believe, the same thing as a large bomb. The mass on it is only 296, which is actually very low, and that means it can be pushed around very easily. That's actually lower than a large bomb as well, I'm pretty sure. It might be lower than a mini bomb. I'm not sure. Somewhere like right around a mini. Let me see. What is a mini bomb, actually, just to verify this? Mini bomb is three, yes, yeah, so it's lower than a mini bomb. So these things are very easy to push around. The explosion force is 391, which isn't that bad as well. A lot of the times when you see cluster bomb exploding, you will notice it sends the three mini bombs straight towards the other tower with a little bit of a boost as well. Now, the, uh, the lifetime of it is six seconds, so it will always be alive for six seconds unless dealt with otherwise or sent back into your tower, right? So the mini bomb level is just whatever level your mini bombs are. Mine are level 25, so of course, that's the tower damage of my mini bomb and all the stats of mini bombs as well. So let's go ahead and get into battle and see what we get. See you guys some actual, show you guys some actual gameplay of this card. All right, so we got the bomb right there now i do like to throw down i'm not gonna lie i love to throw down tornado first with the bomb so let's go ahead and take all these out just for fun we'll go ahead and let's toss the tornado right out here that way we can scoop up this oop, or right there that way we can scoop up this little guy now i like to throw it out like right oh they threw that oh we still got it in now as you can see the big boy damage came out the 20 155 damage using that tornado combo with the blast now honestly i don't really care about winning this game to be honest so uh if i lose it is whatever i kind of just want to show an example however i'm probably not going to lose because i haven't really fought against trainers but i would imagine they're not like that strong but i don't really know all right so let's get back in get another get another we got another twister and then we got the bomb coming right after the twister however i'm just going to throw the bomb out this time that way you guys can see what happens to it whenever it procs so let's go ahead toss it out right here we'll go ahead and give it a nice toss so that's the distance so basically the same distance as a large bomb as well now one thing you'll notice is it has that six second slowdown that's happening right now look what happens when it explodes boom the three bombs go j out just like that so i mean it's kind of key if you do have that bomb out there, it's pretty key to send something else behind it if you don't think it's going to make it all the way to the other tower. So I do have a couple of guys. We got this man right here, Striker Boy, that sends out that's very good at hitting the bombs, along with Lumberjack as well. They're both very good combos. So what you mainly want to do is throw out the cluster bomb first and then right behind the cluster bomb if you didn't throw the cluster bomb in a tornado go ahead and toss out something that's just going to send it right to the other tower and even if you don't get the cluster bomb in the other tower before it uh, blows up within the six seconds it doesn't matter because you still got those three mini bombs and a chance to go ahead and send those three mini bombs in the tower as well so that's pretty big news so let's go ahead get this cluster bomb out here and let's go ahead and try to send it we don't really have actually one second let me go ahead and use some of these cards that way we have something that can hit the cluster bomb there we go now we got something that can hit the cluster bomb all right so we'll send the cluster bomb out like so and then right after the cluster bomb we'll go ahead and send low oh look thunderquake just activated so thunder thunderquake's just gonna go ahead and send it right in now look at that it procked that was actually a perfect example procked right before it went in the tower and as you saw right there all three of those mini bombs went right in the new tower 718 damage each freaking one as you know that adds up quick 700 damage is an insane amount when it comes to dealing damage to the tower all right so we might as well oh actually this game's about to be over yeah whatever that ends it and you guys get a good idea of what oh actually you know what if that fish scores oh oh my 
my god, look, the fish went straight through my tower because it ended. I've actually never seen that. That was pretty cool. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and good luck to all y'all out there trying to get Cluster Bomb, but for now, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas.